As countless games have proven over the years, indie developers aren't at any disadvantage due to their smaller size when it comes to game design and quality. In fact, if anything, it can be an advantage and lead to the kind of creativity and freshness that the AAA space doesn't have a great deal of. One area where smaller teams and fewer finances and resources do have an undeniable advantage, however, is the visuals, more specifically the technical side of things. Even so, every so often a smaller independent team comes along and creates something that surprises people, something that looks so good, so technically proficient, that it's hard to believe it wasn't created by a much, much larger and better funded team. Here, we're going to take a look at 10 such games. A Plague Tale Innocence A Plague Tale Innocence was just a huge surprise hit in every sense of the word, turning out much better than most would have guessed. That stands true for its visuals as well. Environments are excellently crafted and richly detailed, and everything from the lighting to the character models to, of course, the rat swarms look sharp and crisp. Honestly, the game looks so good that it almost feels like an indie equivalent of a Naughty Dog game. It's hard not to be excited about what its upcoming sequel could end up achieving. The Ascent It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that The Ascent is easily one of the best looking games to have been released this year, period. Its stunning cyberpunk world is one of the game's biggest strengths by far, and the excellent visuals are hugely responsible for how well that world is brought to life. Environments are packed with detail, from bright neon lit streets drenched in the rain to marketplaces packed full of all manner of aliens to grimy underground districts littered with trash. The Ascent's combat looks explosive and flashy as well. And when massive hordes of enemies are bearing down on you, it's hard not to be impressed by how busy everything looks. From beginning to end, the ascent is a sight to behold. Ori and the Will of the Wisps Ori and the Will of the Wisps is one of those few games out there whose visuals are as impressive on a technical level as they are on an artistic one. Of course, Will of the Wisps wouldn't have its gorgeous, varied, lush environments if not for the particular art style. But the game does so much on a technical level to ensure that it can do justice to that art. Each of its dense environments is rendered in proper 3D with excellent parallax effects, with the game constantly delivering impressive lighting, detailed character models, and much more. Better yet, no matter what system you play it on, be it the Switch or the Xbox Series X, it looks stunning. Subnautica Below Zero Subnautica Below Zero has an automatic edge in the visuals department thanks to its setting. Just like its predecessor, the game's underwater environments are gorgeous and brilliantly detailed, full of strange new flora and fauna to see and learn more about. Meanwhile, the surface, icy environments too, look great in their own right, if not exactly spectacular. Again, Subnautica Below Zero's art design and technical proficiencies both contribute significantly to how good the game looks. The Forest The Forest's creepy, titular setting is one of its biggest strengths, and it works overtime in every department to strengthen it further. Where the visuals are concerned, environments are densely packed and meticulously crafted, and can feel truly oppressive at times, which adds so much to the game's atmosphere. We're more than a little excited to see what End Night Games will do with Sons of the Forest whenever that comes out. No Man's Sky This one was kind of an obvious pick. No Man's Sky's very nature lends itself to a massive setting full of varied worlds to see and explore, and it delivers that in spades. Each of its worlds, with their own distinct biomes and environments and unique flora and fauna, is brought to life thanks to the game's excellent visuals. There's a great deal of variety in No Man's Sky in terms of the sights you see throughout the game, and the fact that the game's visuals never buckle under that pressure speaks volumes about how good it looks. Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice Oh, shadows. There's no going back. Then who pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. Ninja Theory is, of course, one of Microsoft's most important first-party studios now, and Sinua's saga Hellblade 2 is going to have the full financial backing of Xbox. Back with the first game, though, the development cycle was significantly different. 
Ninja Theory billed their games as a AAA indie production and lived up to that billing, using a small team of developers on a relatively small budget and delivering something that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with any AAA game out there. If Ninja Theory could do that when Hellblade was a small indie production, imagine what they will do with a full-blown AAA sequel. GTFO Tin Chambers co-op horror shooter GTFO is still in early access, of course, but don't let that take anything away from how good it looks. If anything, that makes its visual fidelity even more impressive. Its environments are large and varied and look absolutely stunning, from your flashlight cutting a beam of light through your completely dark surroundings to the gloriously gory, explosive, and intense combat, to even how massive hordes of enemies animate as they come at you. It Takes Two you only need to play a little bit of It Takes Two to see how much love developer Hazelight Studios crammed into the game as they made it, and that's something that shines through in how the game looks as well, among other things. Consistently creative and charming art design is brought to life with technically impressive visuals no matter what environment you find yourself in, or what you find yourself doing. Given the sheer variety and constant creativity It Takes Two is always shooting for, even in the visuals department, it's hard not to be impressed with what it accomplishes. Little Nightmares 2 Little Nightmares 2 has a very distinct, unique look that helps it stand out, and the very evocative art style and character designs do, of course, have a huge hand in that. But the game's technical accomplishments cannot be overstated either. Evocative locations and environments, a dynamically shifting camera, excellent animations for everything that is seen, details and objects littered everywhere, excellent lighting to heighten the horror in perfect ways, there's just so much in Little Nightmare 2's visuals department that deserves praise. And with that, we reached the end of the video. Have anything to say? Let us know in the comments below. Also, we upload new videos every single day on Gaming Bolt, so please consider subscribing as it really helps us out. Thanks for watching.